Every time we speak that wordless word, every time we're in that frequency and that vibration, as you were just then when you laughed at, at, at that and uh, that vibratory frequency lifted you above, and in, in that moment you were, you were connected to, to, the, to the paradox of, of being human, you were touching the levity above the gravity of the human awareness, and in that moment, uh, many of you were uh, out of time. You were just in that vibratory frequency of, of wholeness. And that's the wordless word of a God. We use our words, we use our declaration, our decrees, our affirmations uh, to engender a feeling tonality of communion and union with the presence until we transcend the suggestions, uh, that the, the vibratory suggestions that the world holds uh, for you. Remember, as I teach... There is a major difference uh, between the world and the planet. They're not synonymous. The planet is Earth, uh, Gaia, Pachimama, three-fourths water, mountain ranges, uh, deserts, uh, rainforests. All of that is the planet, and it's alive. But the world is created by our perception, our opinions, our conversations, the agreements uh, that we have. We all live in, in different worlds. And so... Uh, when you took an incarnation, as we were talking about last night in the meditation class, and as you're moving through this world, you're constantly being bombarded by suggestions. The word temp temptation and suggestion mean the same thing. You're constantly bombarded with suggestions as to what's real, what's right, and, uh, 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 and, and these suggestions that you encountered as you took an incarnation was loaded and coded in the newest sphere of the planet, the mental atmosphere of the earth. Suggestions such as life is hard until you die. Suggestions uh, like there's not enough good to go around. Suggestions uh, uh, such as uh, uh, where there's, there's so much to be afraid of. Now, that, that's a big one because politicians use that uh, in order to control the population so that they lose their creativity, their thinking, and just give in to anything that anyone wants to do something to be afraid of. And so these are suggestions that unless they are neutralized, unless they are dissolved, you live in that particular world and then you prove that world is real to yourself because you actually experience those suggestions. And just because you experience a suggestion does not make it real. The world is full of suggestions about disease and disharmony and lack and limitation and separation and fear and doubt and worry. But you who are in a teaching of oneness and wholeness and connectivity with the presence of God that is everywhere, you are changing your world moment by moment by moment uh, by coming into the vibratory frequency of joy and thanksgiving and appreciation and dynamic peace and pure love and intelligence flowing through you. You end up feeling connected in this wordless prayer that you now radiate. And you begin to be aware that it is impossible for you to experience the presence of God. You can only have a realization of the presence of God. Because experience is on a neurovegetative level. You can experience things in your bodies, your subtle bodies, your emotional body, your mental body, your physical body. But you can only realize God in consciousness. And consciousness is pure awareness. So that as you begin to open yourself up to feeling through devotion, the presence of God, you transcend the experience of what's been suggested. And an insight occurs in consciousness, that which appears to be transcendent becomes imminent. You embody the truth and you are made free. And so your spiritual practice is allowing you to walk and talk and feel that you are connected with the love, the peace, the joy, the wisdom, and the harmony, which becomes your personal vibratory law. Someone says, my law is the law of love. My law, my law is the law of peace, enthusiasm, prosperity, wellness, wholeness, beauty, radiant good. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. 
take a holy breath, sustain it right there, and just allow yourself to feel the vibratory frequency of what you have just declared. Feel it in your bones. Let it magnify as you are sustaining that breath for a moment. Release the sound of ah, ah. And allow yourself to feel that you are radiating the feeling tonality of your connection with the Spirit of God. So there is the wordless word. Your words carry you to the vibratory frequency of the Word of God, which is vibration. Allows you to transcend the suggestions of the world that many people are snagged by, they're caught by, and are experiencing it until it becomes a in, an endless hamster loop of constantly experiencing the suggestions until people actually believe in lack, separation, not enoughness, because they're experiencing it. Experience is overrated. Individuals are experiencing false thought form, false falsity through thought forms emanating from a sense of separation. Not you, not here, not now. And so as you declare and decree that which is real until you feel it, takes you, uh, gives you permission to transcend the suggestions, then you look for something beautiful. You look for something in order. You look for something that is harmonious. You look and you listen for something that is magnificent. You begin to train the sensorium to be an avenue of elevation of your soul. You look for something beautiful and wonderful, and when you catch it, when you begin to see it, you take it in. You don't just walk by it. You take it in. You, you feel in, into it. Until you're able to see, not with your physical eyes necessarily, but where realization happens, you're able to see with consciousness the invisible world of love and beauty and abundance that's everywhere. There is something in quantum physics called the condensate. The condensate says that two things can occupy the same space at the same time. In Newtonian physics, that's an impossibility. Two objects can't occupy the same space at the same time. When in quantum reality, it is so because everything has different vibrations and frequencies. So they can be in different dimensions, but in the same space at the same time. So right here and right now, overlaying the planet Earth, the United States, your heart, your neighborhood, there is a radiant world of such beauty and love, such joy. The angels are singing all around you. Your ancestors are calling you to greatness. There is a potential and a possibility in the field of infinite potential all around you. And as the wordless word moves through you, and you begin to transcend the suggestions of the world, the temptations to recoil and to be in fear and doubt and worry. As you begin to look and listen for something harmonious and beautiful and wonderful, your senses become trained and become acutely aware of the sacred and the, the holy and the divine. And you begin to see a different world. Sometimes it's Instant. Sometimes it's momentary. Sometimes it's a deep feeling. And as you begin to see this world, you begin to emanate and live from this world. So that as you notice with the sensorium, the world that is run amok, when you notice with the sensorium, the senses, the world of fear and doubt and worry, individuals that, that are anxious and individuals that are, are, are fomenting racism and separation and not enoughness and uh, all manner of hate and uh, all manner of business as usual in terms of uh, 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 strip mining uh, the earth and tearing down rain, all the stuff that we all know about as you're able to notice that with your senses. You begin to see the world that is right here and right now so real. And your voice and the music you create and the actions that you take and the, the deeds and the conversations 
begin, you begin to be strong enough to speak from the invisible world that becomes visible through you. You become the instrument of that which is invisible, only a dream to some, only a vision to others, only a feeling tone to many. You begin to be its instrument. You're able to say, now use me. Command ye me these hands. Speak, magnificent mother or father God. I am available so that your time on earth every single day is a time of bringing that which can't be seen by the uninitiated, that can't be seen by those who have gotten caught up in the suggestion of fear and terror and doubt and worry. You begin to be the instrumentality through which that which is invisible becomes visible, becomes audible, becomes real. And because that which vibrates at the level of peace and harmony and wholeness and love, the oscillation, the amplitude of that thought is way more powerful than a thought form of hate or separation as you're able to be the instrument for that frequency and that vibration. Two and three together in agreement are way more powerful than a hundred, two hundred in fear, doubt, and worry. The amplitude. You've heard it in the traditional church. One with God is a majority. In quantum reality, we say one with God is unanimous because there's nothing outside the presence of God. So one with God is a unanimous consciousness of oneness and peace. In two and three and gathering such as this, holding that space, become the instrument through which the invisible becomes visible, the inaudible becomes audible as heaven is anchored through us. The wordless word of God. And then, as I've said over time, you look out and you say to yourself, what is my assignment? What is my gift? What is my gift that I am to give? 